Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. We come to you at this time, and we know what time it is. Mid-April 2020 it is, and we know what you're going through. We have said this so many times, dear ones. Spirit knows your name, knows your situation, knows your feelings, knows your anxieties and your fears. And it's like we stand off to the side, sometimes watching you cry. And we stand there waiting waiting and we've talked about it so often and given it names waiting for you to take our hand that's the spiritual free choice of humanity to see it or don't see it to feel it or don't feel it we've said it so many times this planet acknowledges a one God a beautiful loving God totally acknowledges this all over and yet there seems to be always a wall a wall that humans have built and made designed created that's always between us and that was not the design dear ones ever you're never alone your soul is filled with the essence of God your soul that means we are not somewhere else. This veil that you talk about is inside you. You realize that, don't you? It's not off in the sky somewhere. And I say this and preface this so you'll know why I'm going to give you this information that I'm giving you today. Yes, I'm going to talk about the elephant under the table. Yes, I'm going to talk about that which is the virus. I'm going to talk about the aftermath. I'm going to talk about right now. I'm going to talk about some things you should know that might be encouraging to some. And I'm going to do something that will make others roll their eyes and say, well, I don't think so, Cryon. You'll see that in now, in, in a moment, in, in the future. Because I'm going to give you information a little bit about what you're seeing that's so sad, that doesn't have to be sad. About this, this microbe, this virus that you say is taking so many lives. I'm going to give you some information right now that is not that new it is something that has occurred to some on the planet already it is being worked on but I want to push it forward so many of you understand and know that this virus is not taking your lives it's something else dear ones oh it gets you to that place where you're very close to either death or recovery but then suddenly something else is taking place and I want to talk about the something else because I want science to know and I want medicine to know this is already occurred to those who are working the puzzle and yet they're not really certain what they're seeing what I'm going to tell you next dear ones I hope is taken to heart by someone who may be listening here those who would listen to channeling are not necessarily the front-line scientists of the planet and I'm aware of that so let us turn to what the facts are showing right now the virus will take an immune system or someone perhaps who is weaker to a level that is dangerous and in that danger they will be put into that hospital and given the best care that you know how to give some of them will go into that which you have called the ICU surrounded by ICU specialists and doctors and nurses who care about them and are doing their best to save their lives 
But instead of seeing that which is normal in an ICU protocol or that which is normal for any virus, even the ones before this one, instead of that, they're seeing something completely different. They're seeing a downturn, an immediate, almost immediate death where there shouldn't be. And they're scratching their heads and saying, that should not have happened. That should not be that way. And so there's another compliment. There's something else happening. This is factual, dear ones. And you can ask the physicians at the front lines and the nurses that have watched and seen those who are put in the ventilators who are recovering or seeing to go to that place which would be next for a disease and you lose them. There is something else going on. And now I will tell you what it is. And it's not sinister. It's just chemistry. And this hopefully will lead to those understanding that in the future, this does not have to be a killer flu. It's just the flu. Because of what I'm telling you now, what will be developed, what is going to be discovered. And if you roll your eyes, talk to me in a few years. And see if you're going to roll your eyes then with what I'm going to tell you now. Dear ones, your immune system has never seen this. You have a robust immune system, most of you, but those who don't will have an immune system that overreacts to the virus. You might say that what is killing the human beings today is their own immune system, not the virus. The virus will take it to a certain level and then the immune system, which has never seen this before, is overreacting. And the overreacting immune system is causing the death. Now, I just gave you a key to look at. Science, if you can encapsulate that immune system so it will not overreact, this flu will never kill another human. You know, the flu season, it's coming back. It will. But it'll simply be the flu. And it won't be a killer flu anymore because you'll have figured it out. And I just gave you something to work on and to know. And if you think I am wrong, ask those doctors in the ICU if they have seen this phenomenon. And they'll tell you, we've seen it. We know there's something else. We wish we knew what it was. Concentrate, not on the virus, but on the immune system. And how to put it into a place where you can control the reaction and keep it from going to that place, which has been so devastating for so many and hurt so many hearts. Inappropriate death, it is. That's number one. Number two, I would like to give you some information that may seem cryptic. But it's information about the aftermath. This all falls in, perhaps, to even previous channels. Not about that which would be a pandemic, but which would be a coming energy of change. Let's get away from the health right now and take a look at the economies. There's many who have said this is devastating to the economies. I will tell you something, dear ones. It is not devastating. It's a pruning. Many have told you. Books have been written. Futurists have said so. That the stock market itself has systematic, systemic problems. That means that in its very design, it's going to fail. And the way around that, we told you, was an integration. So it wouldn't fail. And there was a lot of head scratching to say, well, what is that integration? I will tell you what it is. It's the virus. <laughs> because what is going to happen when the stock market comes back, and it will, it is set to rebound, dear ones. It is not set to fail. Watch it. On good news, it starts to rebound. On bad news, it doesn't. It's not dead. 
But what happens with it and the commerce around it is a reboot. And that reboot starts to correct the systemic problems that it has naturally that is developed over years that would cause the failure. Some who will say, well, what about all the, the stores that are closed and they're saying they're not going to reopen and all these? They're right. Dear ones, many will not reopen and they'll be the stores that shouldn't have been there. Not with the economy as it should be. A reboot is a pruning out of the things that should not so when you rebound they will not then continue do you see so systems that were not working processes that were almost broken when they come from zero and start coming back will not have those attributes do you see how this works let me put it in another way if a human being is in trouble And a human being really needs to, to have help with this. And they go perhaps to a health worker or a psychiatrist or a psychologist. Or What they're going to tell them is this. You've got to stop. Take a breath. Go to zero. And recalibrate yourself. Recalibrate yourself. Every light worker knows how this works. You go to a place of meditation. All over the world, they know how this works. You have to stop everything. You stop going to work, you stop with your family, you stop everything. And you stand there or sit there and understand for whatever length of time what is important to you and what is not. You have to go to that place where nothing is moving. And then the intuition starts to come in that says, oh, oh, oh. I see what's wrong. I see these things over here. That doesn't serve me. I thought it did. I was too busy to notice, you see. Oh, I see this relationship over here. and I thought it was one thing, and now I realize it's another. Maybe I ought to take another look. I was too busy with myself. I was too afraid of my surroundings. I had this and that happen, and I never could get any sleep. No wonder I couldn't see these things. No wonder I couldn't see these things. And so just as human to human and human, you understand sometimes the solution, the finish line, what you have to do to correct yourself is to stop, take a breath, balance yourself, breathe, meditate, take time. And then the intuition starts to flow in. And that intuition, without all the busyness and without all the things that disturb you and the fears and those that talk to you about this and that and this and the opinions, all goes away. And instead, the intuition flows in that is beautiful from your spirituality, from your own soul, from across the veil, perhaps, that says, number one, you're dearly loved. Number two, take a hard look at the things around you because now is the opportunity to eliminate them and start afresh. And as you do, you'll be healthier. You'll be, you'll be a sweeter person because you'll understand what works and what does not. Dear human being, the planet is in reboot mode right now. There's never been anything to create this kind of unity on the planet, not even a world war. This is new. Take a look. It's on purpose, you might say. From a virus, by the way, that came from nature but didn't get to you naturally. I'll talk on that some other time. I would like to tell you right now that when these things are over and it starts to come back, it may take a while, but it's going to come back a different way. It's going to come back fresher. It's going to come back with systems that are correcting themselves because they're starting over. New ideas. Industries may disappear and not because of the virus because they're recognized as no necessary new industries new inventions are going to pop up because of this i'm telling you whatever you think is going to happen you'll be wrong because this is the reboot we talked about the energy shift we talked about 
when all around the naysayers say, well, it can't happen with the economy we have. They're right. Well, it can't happen with the stock market the way it is. They're right. And it isn't. You're at zero right now, and you're going to come rebounding back differently. There is so much hope for this planet because of this. I tell you these things in love and compassion because you'll see it's true. And you may have difficulty understanding why this had to happen or that happened to happen. It's the salvation of humanity. It's the beginning of a higher consciousness and understanding and togetherness of humanity. You let a microbe bring you to your knees. What if instead the next time it's love or understanding or compassion for one another that could sweep this planet with health, with love, and make things happen that never happened before. This is not what you think. I give you these things in love to tell you there's not only hope for the future, there is hope for a different future. You're not going to return to the same old, same old. And that goes for politics. And that goes for broadcast news. That goes for what you're going to find out later of what really happened that you call COVID-19. These things will happen because you need them and you will correct things because of them. And this will be a much better planet to live on. Believe me, you're not returning to the old world ever again. I am Cryon, in love with humanity, and I'll be back. And so it is.